Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee introduced a resolution honoring Michael Jackson in the United States Congress, and she spoke about it today at his memorial service. We have introduced into the House of Representatives this resolution 600 that will be debated on the floor of the House that claims Michael Jackson as an American legend and musical icon, a world humanitarian, someone who will be honored forever and forever and forever and forever and forever. Joining me now, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, you spoke today of your own experience with Michael Jackson in various situations. Tell us about that. Well, it was really a story of Michael's humanitarian service, which I really believe uh, the world and the nation probably will learn more about in the days to come. It was steadfast. It was steady. It was yearly. Uh, my experience was his desire to fight against the devastation of HIV AIDS on the continent of Africa. And so African ambassadors that represented nations were willing to come and sit down with Michael Jackson. He was serious enough. He was known as such a world humanitarian that these representatives of nations came to the United States Capitol, visited with us in my office, and listened to Michael Jackson. They listened to him. He listened to them. And then I think it is important that then I think it is important uh, that uh, the focus was the devastation of HIV AIDS. He'd done so much before. He, he had helped children. He had uh, worked with developing nations. He had uh, sponsored orphanages in Africa. Uh, as you well know, when he was burned, he went and gave money for the burn unit. He bought hospital beds. Uh, and then, of course, he recognized the sacrifice that our soldiers give when he was in Washington by visiting Walter Reed Hospital, the symbol. Uh, of the uh, difficulty and tragedy that occurred with our men and women on the front lines uh, during the heightened part of the Iraq war. Michael was sensitive and caring. He was a living humanitarian. You also made a reference uh, to his troubles and his difficulties. Let's listen to that. We know that people are innocent until proven otherwise. That is what the Constitution stands for. Congresswoman, uh, do you think that your resolution may have some resistance in the House of Representatives, especially having heard Peter King uh, in the last 24 hours, a Republican congressman from New York, uh, talk about Michael Jackson's trials and, and the accusations against him and involving uh, possible problems with children? Do, do you think your resolution may run into trouble because of that? Well, let me ver be very clear. Uh, this resolution deals with documented, factual acts of humanitarian service that Michael Joseph Jackson gave throughout his life. I don't know anyone that could reject the truth. And so the resolution only speaks to the truth of his living testimony of how he helped so many. UNESCO, uh, children that were in need, uh, individuals who were dying. And I would just simply say that all legislation uh, has to be vetted. This will be vetted on the truth. And I would hope that my colleagues in a bipartisan way would represent and recognize the national and international statute that Michael had in putting a face on America, a face of kindness, a face of caring, and a face of sharing. That's what we will be addressing. All right. Thank you, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. When